Hey Slashers, this is Freddy from Mixtape Massacre, and today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing video of our brand new release, Mixtape Massacre Director's Cut. Now this is the second edition of our original game, Mixtape Massacre, and because it's the Director's Cut, we wanted to go all out with the packaging. So we did this nice collector sleeve to keep it contained in and protect the game. Now let's tear into this bad boy. All right, let's open this thing up. So for starters, Obviously, we have our rule book. We spent a good amount of time refining the rules for this game um, since it is the second edition, but we also spent a lot of time making sure that this is really laid out well so you can find the answers you need really quickly when playing with your friends. We have the game board here, and uh, for, for this director's cut, we also wanted to bring that sleeve art into the board. So when you get to the back, it's got that nice illustration all across it. And then of course, game board with a couple adjustments to it just because of uh, some changes with the rules, but nothing major. There'll be two punch boards inside. These will contain your characters, such as the slashers and the heroes. It's also gonna contain your lock tokens. These are brand new to the game. Now what these are gonna do is they're gonna force you to have to break into certain locations at certain points in the game. And depending upon the color, be it yellow or red, it's gonna be um, different levels or require different weapons and things to get into these locations. We've also got special ability tokens, which are for each uh, slasher. Those can be used once per game. And then of course here we've got the slasher meter. This is what's going to keep track of the noise that you're making throughout the game. And it's gonna bring on the, uh, the heroes um, as the game progresses. On our next board, you're gonna have your uh, souvenir tokens. These will be the pieces that you're collecting as you make kills throughout the game. Um, mixed in with those souvenir tokens are also gonna be these runner tokens. These are new to the second edition of the game. What those are is when you flip them over, it's actually gonna be a loss of a kill. So instead of being able to successfully make that kill and collect those tokens to try to win the game, this is gonna cause those, uh, those tokens to fade away and you're gonna be stuck trying to get to another location to get those tokens. We also have your supply tracker tokens. These of course are used to keep track of the uses of each supply card that you're, you're holding and that you can use throughout the game. Next, we've got your stands for your character pieces, obviously used to help keep the character standing. We've got our dice. So in this game, we have two movement dice, a slight adjustment from our original game. Um, we have a search die, which you'll use in locations to search for additional supplies. It can also lead to calling on slashers or lead to nothing. Um, and then we've got our action dice. These are what you'll be using throughout the main point of the game. These are um, gonna be for when you're fighting other slashers, for when you're fighting heroes, or when you're trying to make kills. Next, we have our bonus track cards. Now these cards are kind of like your standard chance cards. They're uh, activated by the bonus track space on the board. You don't always want to try to go for these as they are chance and can sometimes be good and sometimes be bad. These are more uh, cards I try to go for personally when um, I'm down on my luck or I'm low on health and things of that nature and I'm, I'm kind of desperate for something. Next we have our supply deck. Now as I mentioned before, these are gonna be the cards that can assist you uh, throughout the game when you're you know, fighting uh, other slashers, fighting heroes, or trying to make kills. Um, the way you can attain these is either when you make a successful kill, you'll get a free search of the location you just made that kill in, or you can use the search die, empty into loca uh, empty locations, and search for these uh, supplies. Inside of them are gonna be a ton of helpful um, supplies, and then there are a few hero cards and some uh, additional tricky cards inside that uh, can lead to some fun um, situations with other players. So next we have our killer scenes cards. These are like the main meat of the game. All the action, all the fun is, is gonna come from this deck. It's also 50 custom illustrated uh, cards. So each one is unique. And um, each card is full of uh, fun jokes or um, you know inside movie jokes for horror fans or 80s fans and tons of killer references so you're gonna get a lot of fun out of this deck as you're playing the game. Next we have the character profile cards. Um, these will be uh, what you grab when you grab your character and select them. It's gonna have their backstory on it but it's also gonna have their special ability on it and explain how you can use it and when you can use it in certain instances of the game. Um, 
there's a total of 10 slashers in the game, so there's 10 of these cards included in the game. We then have the hero cards. Um, there's three of these in the game because there's two different heroes you can play with from the get. It's Kirk and Linda. And then we have this bonus card because Linda has the ability to turn into a werewolf during the game. So this card can be switched in during certain parts of the game uh, depending upon if a full moon happens. So these would be your hero cards. Also as a bonus, because we have multiple games in the Mixtape Master universe, we also include two cards for Kirk and Linda for use in Escape from Tall Oaks. So you can actually take those characters and play with them as survivors in Escape from Tall Oaks. Now because there's all these pieces and cards and things like that and we want to make sure you're able to take care of your game, we also include a slew of baggies to bag everything up and keep things protected while uh, you're continually playing. Last but not least, we're, uh, we're really excited to showcase these brand new player stations for the game. Uh, they're plastic knives. They have a nice uh, serrated edge to them, so you know it feels like a real knife, blood stains and things like that. Uh, we spent a lot of time on getting these together, so we're really happy with how they turned out. Your health pegs will actually go here. Your card will stand here, and you'll just place it on the table like this, and it'll keep track of everything while you play the game. Um, but really a killer piece to, to go with the rest of the game. Um, and with that is also the actual health pegs. Each player will have six. Throughout the game, you'll be pulling those in and out of the knife to keep track of your health while you play the game. Lose them all, and you're out of the game. Now, along with everything that's included in the box, we also wanted to make sure that with this box, there was space for uh, your miniature uh, set for Mixtape Massacre. As we have an upgrade kit to turn your standees into actual miniatures, we wanted to make sure the box could also contain those so you wouldn't be having to carry multiple boxes when you're, you're carrying the game. So, you can easily take your case with your uh, miniatures and put it right in the game and it fits with everything else in the game. And that's gonna do it for our unboxing video for the Mixtape Massacre Director's Cut. Um, as we said, this is our second edition of the game, so we're really excited for all the changes and additions we've made to the game to really make it a killer package. If you wanna learn more about this or our other products that are compatible with it, head on over to mixtapemassacre.com. Um, otherwise, guys, have a killer time.